talk on them. Alright team, ready? Level one, how many people we got on today? We got 52, a couple people, nice. a couple stragglers. Hey, happy hump day, y'all! All right, welcome. We're going to go ahead and get things uh, popping right here. Eric's very excited. My video on? Uh, <laughs> really oh, okay. uh, so welcome, everyone. My this name is Kathy. I'll be coaching you guys here today. Uh, we have got a playlist for you. It's called Quarantine 325. Uh, it's under Stefan Olander. I put it up on our uh, you know, Fitness in the City Instagram page. So if you guys are ready for it, we're going to go ahead and get that thing started here in about five. Three, two, and one. Let's get it going from the top. All right, guys, we're gonna get uh, started warming everything on up. We're gonna come down to our back today. Come on down to our back slash side body. We're gonna be coming into our side body position. So lay on your back side body. We're gonna start with our arms stacked on top of one another. Shoulders stacked, hips stacked. You're gonna take your top hand and open up like a book. Try to get your shoulders all the way down to the ground. And then close back up. Go ahead and take four more right there, so get through five total. Again, the goal is to get those shoulders as close to the floor as possible. Please keep your eye on your top hand as we rotate open. Five total. When we're done there, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the other side. If you're following along with us yesterday, we got through 100 squats. I am definitely feeling that today. Um, so we're today, we're going to be evening everything out, working on hinge positions, and then um, push, upper body push. So right now, we're getting in throughout our chest, throughout our shoulders. You can keep your head on the ground, kind of let it roll with you. Five here on the right, and we'll work through five on the left. When you are done there, we're going to be in hip raises. So feet will be flat on the floor. You're going to go ahead and extend those glutes up towards the sky. Lower them on down to control. Just reset our spine, get our hamstrings ready to go. Core should stay nice and active. Start to connect with that breath. Awesome, we have two different views for you here. So again, make sure that we're squeezing those glutes up towards the sky and lowering them on down to control. Take, you know, wherever you're at, let's just go ahead and add about five of those. Awesome, breathing. Everyone's feeling good today. Good, we're off the screen, so that's good. You guys are on the floor, getting it ready to go. On our next one, we'll go ahead and take our right leg towards the sky. You're gonna flex around your foot. And we'll take five single leg hip raises here on this right side. We are going to be doing these motions uh, with weight today. So just a little bit of movement prep, getting our body ready for this position. We've got five here on the right side, and then we'll lower it down, switch legs towards the sky, and we'll take five on the left. Yes, take off. Excellent. Nice flex shot that foot, five and five. When we are done there, we're going to go ahead and roll over onto our stomach. Open our arms up like a T. We're gonna work through stuck in the mud. So everything hits the floor. You're gonna take your right arm in like you're about to do a push up. You're gonna knock your hips all the way over. You can take the back leg open, nice uh, chest and shoulder opener. Woo. Woo. Yeah, we'll roll it back to center and hit the other side. We'll take about four per side, please. Four per side. Again, getting it throughout the chest and the shoulders. Um, if you're feeling tight from our uh, workout yesterday, you got to grab the upper back, so you should feel nice, uh, you know, stretch throughout that upper back as well here. Four per side. Getting in for it. When we're done there, we're going to be in cat cow. So come on down all fours. We'll take a few cat cows at your own pace. Again, resetting our spine for today's workout. Lots of hinging today, so we gotta make sure that lower back is feeling good, upper back, big spinal uh, motions here. You can shake your hips from side to side, take whatever else you might need in this position. Nice camera action by Rick. Once I love that. Excellent, guys. We'll go ahead and take our right arm towards the sky. Let's take some spinal rotation here. Right arm towards the sky, exhale, thread it through. And we'll take five on the right and five on the left. team. Good. I can see those hands coming up. Good. Make sure we're connecting with our breath as we move here. So big inhale as we extend out and exhale as we thread through. Five on the right, five on the left. 
Take your time here. We'll go ahead and tuck our toes. Be in downward facing dog when you are done. Um, if you didn't already see on our Instagram post, you are going to need some sort of step. Um, so you can start to think about that here as we're warming up, something around your house. We're going to be doing tricep dips. So some sort of, you know, a couch, a uh, chair, yeah, coffee table, on a ottoman, um, anything like that. You are going to be needing that today. So think about that as we're headed to our downward facing dog. Pedal up those feet, shake your hips from side to side, whatever you need to take. We'll go ahead and shift forward to high plank. Let's take your right foot on the outside of the hands. Then you're gonna drop your back knee. Let's sit it up nice and straight. Let's just get in throughout the hip flexor a little bit. Good, we'll take a few pulses forward. Good, add throughout the quad. Maybe reach those arms up and overhead. You can take a side body stretch if you need it. And when you're ready, hands are going to come back into that runner's lunge position. Extend your right arm towards the sky. Exhale, bring your elbow as close to the floor as possible. We'll take five rotations here. Excellent. Five on the right. When we're done there, we'll step back through to high plank. We'll take the left foot on the outside of the hands. Drop the back knee. Sit it up nice and straight. And again, push those hips forward so we activate throughout our... Uh, hip flexor all the way throughout the quad. Again, go ahead and pulse forward a little bit. You can add some motion. Maybe extend those arms up, but overhead. Make sure we're evening out our sides, whatever we did. When we're feeling good there, hands come onto the inside. Again, we've got those five rotations. Left arm goes towards the sky. Exhale, bring your elbow as close to the floor as possible. Five total on the sky. When we are done there, we'll go ahead and meet in downward facing dog. Last chance to fill out those feet from side to side. Take whatever else you might need. Maybe hit that child's pose, we can grab our laps. But again, this is your warm up. You know your body best, so you take what you need here. We'll go ahead and widen our face when we're ready. We're going to walk our hands back into low, we'll lost to the squat. We'll come into a low squat position. Good hands are going to come to the toes. Extend your glutes right the sky, we'll take a forward fold. And then exhale, come on back down. We'll take just about five total of those. Again, getting in throughout the hip flexors, throughout our hamstrings, throughout the low back. Five total. When we are done there, we'll come up to a standing position. We're going to take five on the right, five on the left. Inside, outside, it's one. Hip circles. Good work. Warming it up. Well done, team. Hi, Cassie. Well done, girl. Fabulous job, y'all. Looking good, looking good. Five on the right, five on the left. Hip circles is what we're headed through. When we're done there, we're gonna be into sumo RDL. So we'll be hitting this position again. Some movement prep with the weight today. Hands can come across the shoulder, wider base. Extend those glutes back and behind, snap it up nice and tight at the top. Again, we're keeping a flat back here. So glutes go back and behind and snap it up. Literally the bend and snap, right? You know it. Good, booty mat first. Nice flat back. Perfect. Yeah, maybe take that hip follow through if you need to get in a little bit deeper. Great. When we're feeling good, we'll go ahead and extend those arms out side to side. We'll open up throughout the chest, throughout the shoulders. Good. Y'all can take an internal external rotation. Again, all these people's backs feeling good. I know Stefan and I have been feeling it in our biceps from yesterday's. Send that bend up for real. Well done. Good. Maybe take a few lap pulls if you need it. Anything else? In the upper body to get ourselves ready to go. We're going to take it to a star pose. Now reach the opposite toe, snap it up tight at the top. Got quite a bit of shoulder and hip um, stability motions here is coming for us. So, so again, shooting those hips back and behind. Is that correct? Great. Um, when we're feeling good here, we're going to take it into a figure four. Step it out to a lateral lunge. Both toes face the same direction. Step it up nice and close. We'll take five on the right and five on the left. Good. So taking a look at Stefan's position, right? Notice how both his toes are facing the same direction. You should think about railroad tracks, right? 
your train cannot, uh, you know, collide. That would be bad. Bad news bears. So you can all go straight railroad tracks. We've got five on the right, five on the left. And enjoy that hip flexor stretch. Does that feel good? Awesome work, team. Looking good, looking good. Five on the right, five on the left. When we're done there, we're going to be in frontal hamstring kicks, opposite arm to opposite toe. We're reaching on forward. Good. You can take a few steps in between. We're going to start to get our heart rate up a little bit. Body should be feeling pretty warm, pretty good. We're going to warm back. Get in there. Get in there. All right. Excellent. We'll take a static twist. Good. Get up and up and trunk. Strong. Looking strong, y'all. And we'll head on into those back kicks, please. Heels to the glutes. Let's get this party rocking. And ready for this workout today. Taking any kind of dynamic mo motion that you guys need. We're going to work it into a lateral uh, skater from side to side. Good. We come into those at, during our finisher today. Got to do this. I will take a split shuffle. Well done, well done. Got to take some pop squats. Load, explode. Starting to get that heart rate up. Nice work, y'all. We'll take a good day skit. Good, dynamic twist. Good, we'll go football feet nice and quick. Athletic, strong, powerful. We'll finish it on out. And recover. Well done, guys. Foot fives all around. Um, if you haven't already introduced yourselves to someone in the group chat, you guys are welcome to do that. We're going to talk about the format. What's happening here for us today? All right, we got quite a few people in. We're up to 64 awesome spots today. All right. So for today's format, um, we're going to be working through four different groupings of three exercises, okay? The three exercises all have a set amount of reps, which I will coach you through. Okay, we'll get through the first round of the three exercises with the set amount of reps, and then we're gonna decrease those reps by two. Okay, we're gonna end up getting through three total rounds, so each time decreasing our reps by two, and then we'll move on to our next set of exercises. Okay, so for this first one, we're gonna be working through a lateral step of the swing. All right, so either kettlebell or dumbbell you've got out in front of you. Okay, again, it's a big hinge position here. Adding that lateral motion. So hands come out in front of us. We chuck it back like a football. You guys are going to be laterally stepping from side to side. Popping those hips out in front of us. We've got a total of 10 for that first exercise. 10 total. Second one, we're going to work on those single leg hip bridges. So just like we had practiced in the warm up, you're coming down to your back. Heels are going to be in nice and close. One leg is up towards the sky. Foot is flex. Extend your glutes up towards the sky and lower back down. We've got eight on the right and eight on the left. Last exercise, no weight needed. We've got a push up the shoulder tap. Okay, so strong push up, opposite arm to opposite shoulder. You've got six. All right, so we're going to get started all together. We'll be going on the boys' pace. We'll take some rest and then we'll be decreasing our reps by two. Again, three rounds through here. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. Yeah, we can that. Did we? Okay. Yes. Just one question on that step. Totally. When we take that swing, if I'm moving left, I step right foot in and then left foot out. We've got a hinge. Oh, step, step back. Outside foot. Correct. Yes, you all got it. All right, team. So we've got dumbbell and kettlebell here. Take a look at it. We're going to get things going here in about five. All together, 10 total reps for this first exercise. In three, two, and one. Let's get it going, team. You guys are up. You are on. You've got 10 total. We're counting those swings. Fabulous. Good. Make sure you're connecting with your breath as you move. And it's all about that hinge position. Hips go back, booty back. Right? The power comes from those hips, not from the shoulders. 10 total. When you are done there, we're coming down to our back. We've got single leg hip raises. Eight on the right, eight on the left. Awesome job, Emily. I saw your last kettlebell swing. That was great. Single leg hip raises. Eight on the right, eight on the left. Good. That weight is just resting right on that 
pelvis, we're extending those glutes up towards the sky. Eight on the right, eight on the left. Breathe through it, guys. This is strength, we're going hard at it. So take your time, connect with that breath, and let's make a move. Excellent work, team. Eight and eight, make sure you're breathing with it. Good, hips go high up towards the sky. We'll take some rest recovery as you need. You get to stay on the ground. We've got six total push-ups to shoulder tap. So if we're working on our push-ups still, y'all are welcome to take any modification that you need. Right, feel free to drop to your knees. Either way, we're isolating throughout the hips, making sure that our hips do not move from side to side as we are extending that hand to the opposite shoulder. It's a great team. Well done, well done. Awesome, Jacqueline. Beautiful push-ups. Squeeze those glutes. Fabulous, fabulous job. All right, when we're feeling good, we're up, we're shaking it out. We're gonna do it again. We're de decreasing our reps by two. Decreasing our reps by two. So starting from the top, we're gonna start with our kettlebell swings, our eight. Eight, 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 that's it. All right, eight. Swing with that lateral step. Whenever you guys are ready, let's get it going in three, two, and one. You are up, you are on. Beautiful team. Good, keep your chest lifted high. Well done. Next to two, pull those forms up. Come on there. Eight total, y'all. Eight total. Well done. We're headed down to our back, please. Down to our back when you're done. Nice job, Maddie. Good job with that dumbbell. Fabulous squad. Single leg hip bridges. We've got six on the right and six on the left. So let's see if we can get a bit more extension here. Can you lift your hips a little bit higher? Or maybe you add some tempo, right? Maybe we stay up for two and then lower down on one. We go up for two, lower down on one. You've got six of them. Especially since we have not changed out our weight, I need you to increase your difficulty some way. So by adding that pace, or by adding that tempo, start to bump things up a bit. Six on the right, six on the left. Fabulous job, y'all. Looking good, looking good. When we are ready, we're headed down to our push-ups. We've got a total of four. We've got a total of four. Yes, only four, y'all. Not too bad, so try your best to knock them out on those toes. We're still working on our progression again. Feel free to try it on your knees. You know your body best, so let's challenge ourselves accordingly. Y'all are looking great. Four total, breathe on out. Let's take a second. Maybe about another 15 seconds or so of rest and recovery. This is our third and final set. Last time we're going to be here today. So let's bump up that difficulty some way, somehow. We're starting out with our swings. We're stuck at six right here. Total of six. We'll get things going in three, two, and one. Let's lock and load, team. You are up. You are on. Yes, y'all. Beautiful swings. Awesome job on the screen. Looking good, looking good, team. Yes, power, explosiveness, looking great. You're headed down, active recovery, onto our back. Those single leg hip raises. Again, feet are flat on the floor. You're extending one leg up towards the sky. Let's flat strap that foot. Yes, think about squishing a bug onto the ceiling. Beautiful. We got eight on, oh, we got a total out of those. What do we have? Four on the right, four on the left. Yep, four and four. Team. When you're done there, you've got a rock and two push up with shoulder top. Two of them. Make them the best. Maybe you add some tempo. Maybe you hold down there for like five seconds and then push up. Not what we got here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Beautiful, y'all. Yeah. Very nice. All right, stand on up, shake it out, team. High fives, uh, screen fives all around. Go fives in the in house. We have some heat. We have some heating issues here, so that's we're why people keep stepping out of the screen just so you know everything's fine. Yes. All right, team. Let's talk about what's happening here next. We're moving into our next set of exercises. Okay. First one we're heading through is going to be our sumo good morning. Okay, again, we hit this position in the warm-up, so you guys should be back and ready to go. Wait, it's gonna come on to our back. All right, we're gonna take a wide stance. Um, toes can face lightly. Out or slightly in, you can go either way. Hinging at those hips, we stand up nice and tight at the top. Again, big hinge, and we snap it up. So from the side, we're keeping a flat back here, wider stance, 
back behind. All right, we've got a total of 10 there to get things going. Okay, when we're done there, this is where you're gonna need your box, your ottoman, chair, coffee table, whatever you're using. We've got a total of 16 tricep dips, so let's make sure that those hips are out here. They're in line with, the, uh, with our elevation here. I will stand nice and close. We dip it down and up. We've got 16 total of those coming at you. And our final one, we've got a single arm boat press. So seated position, I'm gonna go boat pose. My heels are gonna be off the ground. Chest is up nice and high. I'm extending that arm up and overhead, using my core to stay tight. We've got a total of eight on the right and eight on the left. All right, team, let's find our weights. Make sure that you have what you need. If you press on center. Absolutely. If you have uh, too heavy of a weight to work on single arm for that press, you can bring it double hand overhead press on that side. All right, team, let's take a look. Let's get things going. We've got two more rows to start in three, two, and two more good mornings. Let's get it going. Excellent work. Beautiful. So you can see the great flat back here coming through at the top. The core should be active the entire time, right? That's make sure, make sure that we're not dumping into that lower back. Even though those hips are going back, our core is still tucking in, right? So think belly button to the spine. Just like Eric said yesterday, every exercise is a core move. So let's squeeze it, let's do it right. 10 total squad, 10 total. Looking good, looking strong. Awesome job. When we are done there, we're gonna find that elevation. We're heading into our tricep dips. We've got 16 total. You can add some sort of variation if you would like. Maybe see more people are using them. Yeah, I know, I'm interested to see. Good, triceps. Let's get it going. Oh, nice. We've got some sort of outdoor patio thing, Eric season, that's good. A couch, fabulous. You guys are crushing it, well done. Oh, that table, Rachel's just going right off the table. Squeeze that back, girlfriend. Woo, woo, looks good. 16, y'all. All right, when we are done here, we're coming down to a seated position. We're working on our single arm boat press, single arm boat press. I would suggest starting on your weaker arm. Even it out a little bit. Makes you feel a little bit better. Fabulous. Try your best to keep those heels off the ground. If things are too challenging, feel free to drop your heels. You can still keep your core engaged with your heels on the ground. Again, step into a double hand press. Maybe your weight is too heavy to work on that same positioning. I know mine was when I did this workout earlier today. Um, so, yes, the double hand press is going to be what's great. You take what you need. You know your body best. Eight on the right, eight on the left. We stand it up, breathe it on out when you are done. You guys are crushing it. Well done, well done. First round, check. Excellent. Nice job, Devin in the house. Hey, girl. Catherine's in the house. Hey, hey. Well done. Awesome work, guys. All right, breathing it out. We're going to get started again from the top, subtracting our ribs by two. So we're heading into eight total. Two more good mornings. All right, let's see what we got. We'll get things going here about five seconds. In three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Eight. Question. How many reps? You just said it, eight. Eight. We're going in eight total. Yes, I'll make sure that I let you guys know your reps. Eight, eight, eight. So where are we starting right here? Well done. Very good job. Awesome. Woo, we're gonna feel these days tomorrow. Hell yeah. Waking up that posterior chain, even our evening ourselves out from yesterday, right? Where we were very quad dominant, we're moving it to the posterior chain. You guys are crushing it. That was eight total of our sumo good morning. We're moving on to tricep dip. We're gonna subtract two, so we're down to 14. 14. One four, knock them in, knocking them out at your own pace. Again, we're working on our depth. We're connecting with our breath. Elbows should stay in nice and tight. Make sure we're not dipping into our shoulders. Spin them back and down. Beautiful form here. 14, one four. You guys are crushing it. Well done, well done. 
Bryce in the house, fabulous. We got Sarah. Well done. All right, stand up, shake it out as you need. We're coming down to the floor, subtracting our best balance by two. We are now at six per side. Six per side. Again, if you have too heavy of a weight to work on a single arm, feel free to take it to that double hand press, just double it up. So it's gonna be either six on the right, six on the left, or 12 total. Good, make sure that we are connecting with that breath again. Heels are gonna be trying to stay off the ground that entire time. Core should be strong, active. Again, not dumping into the lower back. Make sure we keep our chest up high, lifted. Shoulder blades squeezed together in the back. Big, strong press. Team. Good. Way to breathe it out. All right, we got our final round coming. Final round coming for us. These motions are last set through. We're going to get started again with that sumo. Good morning. Reps are locked in at six. Six total. All right, we'll rest it out. We'll take about another 10 seconds or so. Rachel says playlist is fire. Is <laughs> it Rachel Coffin? Yup. Get it. All right, team. Maybe she said it. Yeah, good. Here we go, team. Three, two, and one. Let's lock and load. You are on six. Six total is your rep count. You're headed down. Beautiful, team. Looking good, looking good. Keeping that flat back. Again, if your core engaged, you better breathe. Breathe through it. You've got it. Awesome work. Miranda looking good outside. Amanda looking good inside. Hey, hey. Yes. Stacy, well done. Excellent job, Ashley. All right, team. We are hitting on deck. Down to our tricep dip. Last time we get to use our creative elevation today. We've got a total of 12. A total of 12 whenever you're ready. Locking it on out. Nice job, team. Yes, loving it. 12 total, let's do them right. Let's get that depth. Good, again, elbows in nice and close. No dipping in the shoulders, pull it back. Beautiful. 12 total, when you are done, you're headed to our last exercise in this set. I need you to earn your rest, earn your recovery. So let's push ourselves accordingly. We're coming down to our single arm toe, toe press. We are now at four reps per side. Four reps per side. Woo! Yes, stepping with a single arm, crushing it. Well done, team. Yes, if you are doing a double, we're now down to just four per side. So give it a go. If you can take it to that single arm. Keep those heels off the ground. Four feet nice and tight. Woo! Way to stay engaged. Squeeze it. Yes, y'all. Almost there. Come on. Four total for the first side. And that is that. Well done, well done. And high fives all around. Good vibes in the house. It works. Hey, we are two sets down. We got two sets to go and a finisher. You guys are crushing it. How are we feeling, team? Hands up, hands up, party hands. All right, well done. Oh, good, there they are. All right, guys, moving on to our next exercises. We're working in through three new motions. First exercise, we've got a kettlebell swing hop. Okay, this is explosion. Um, this is a lot of stability. So, hands come out in front of us. We check that kettlebell back like a football, and you guys are adding that explosion up at the top. All right, we're locking in our first set at 10. First set at 10. Kettlebell swing, pop. Second exercise, we're going to work through a, a split stance RDL. Okay, so your normal RDL stance, feet should be hip distance apart. Okay, we're going to just extend one leg back and behind. It's about a foot or less. Okay, try your best to keep both feet on the ground. So again, there's just uh, about a foot in between each feet. Soft bend in the knees. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back. We hinge at the hips and set it up tight at the top. Okay, shoulders should come in line with glutes. No further. We're just going to that point of tension. Back it up, back at the top. We've got eight on the right. And then we'll switch feet in front. Again, and then eight on the left. Okay, notice that flat back. Keeping the chest high. Again, your bend and step, right? There it is. All right, last exercise in this grouping. We've got a double hand press to skull crusher. So laying on your back, we're gonna take our kettlebell or dumbbell up and overhead. All right, you're gonna take an inside press. So elbows staying nice and close. We get in throughout our chest and triceps. Then we crush it with the triceps back and behind. Elbows stay high, extend forward, chest press. 
the skull crusher. All right, that's gonna be our last one. Let's find our space. Let's make sure that we have what we need. Let's get this thing going. Kettlebell swings uh, with that hop. We've got a total of 10. Total of 10 to get me started. All right, swing with the hop team. Let's get this thing going in three, two, and one. Let's go for it, squad. You are up, you are on, beautiful. Good, try your best to stay in that same position. Don't let your body hop forward. I know the first time I did these, I was hopping all over the place. So squeeze, 10, 10 of them, team, 10 of them. Excellent, love it, that height. Fabulous, fabulous work. We're heading into single leg RDLs is next um, with our split stance. So one foot, just about a foot in front of the other. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back when you're ready. We're going for an eight on the right, eight on the left. Eight and eight. Yes, love it. Looking good, keeping that soft bend in the knees. That's how we're gonna protect that lower back. Soft bend in those knees. Again, core should still be engaged here. We're thinking about pulling that belly button in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back. Chest is high, like you've got a necklace on. You're trying to show off, right? Hinging at those hips. Eight on the right, eight on the left. You guys are crushing it. We've got some awesome form here on the floor and looking really great on the screen. Awesome flat back, Stacey, love it. She's got double dumbbells she's crushing. Fabulous, Jess, looking good. Excellent, JR, doubling up with the weights. I see you, eight and eight. When we are feeling good there, once we've gotten through, you guys are coming down to your back. So make sure you've got some space out in front of you. All right. We've got our chest press to skull pressure. You're locking it in at 12. So take your time here. Again, elbows staying nice and close for both of those exercises. Both of those motions. Elbow stay glued in close. Looking good, team. One press, one crusher is one rep. Right? Correct. One press, one crusher is one rep. We're at 12. So you're counting it out. Locking it in, team. Fabulous. Keep those elbows in nice and tight. And let's connect with that breath, right? We got two breaths going on there. So breathe through it. Good, make sure those elbows are facing your knees. Facing your knees. There we go. Don't let them spin out. 12. 12, awesome job. Good work, Mary. Fabulous team, almost there. We've got 12 total here. Well done, team. All right, that's one full round through. We're moving on to our second round. Shake it out, take what you need. We're getting started from the top with our kettlebell swing with the hop. We are now locked in at eight, okay? Eight for those. All right, we're all moving. Ready to get things going. Hillary's on it. Lauren's on it. Robin's on it. Let's get this thing going in three. Nice job, Elliot. He's ready. Two. And one, let's rock and roll. Woo, Maddie, right on time. Beautiful. Good, eight, y'all, eight. Yes, good, and we're going for the height. Woo, there we go. Well done, eight total. Head into our uh, split stance RDLs. One foot in front of the other. We're going for it. We're going six on the right and six on the left. Sixes, when you guys are ready. Let's make sure that form is set up for success. Both heels should be on the ground, so it's very small bit in between your feet. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back. Again, booty goes back first. Core engage. Strong breathing, exhale as we stand. We're bringing those hips through so that way the core gets that little extra crunch there at the top. You guys are working through sixes. Six on the right, six on the left. I'll keep telling you guys your reps. You all are crushing it. Nice job, Dustin, beautiful. Good job, Robert and Jenny. Stephanie looking good. Let's keep that chin in line. Yeah, neutral spine here, shall we? Good, neutral spine. Beautiful job, y'all. We're gonna head down to the floor when you're done. 
Inside press, skull crusher is one. Inside press, skull crusher, two. We're going all the way up to a total of 10 reps. 10 reps, team, whenever you're ready. into the floor. You guys are looking strong. Working in throughout that grip. I bet y'all are feeling that from yesterday. Woo, it's gotta be a tough one. Fabulous job. Ten. Ten total. Y'all are almost there. Take your time with it. Great job, Stacy. Fabulous, Total of ten. Well done. Let's take some rest recovery. Take about another 15 seconds or so to breathe on out. We're headed to our last set through. Last set of these three exercises. First one started with our get up, let's swing hop. We are now down to only six reps. Let's make it explosive. Let's add some height. Let's add some attitude. Let's get this thing going. We'll roll right to it here in about five seconds, team. Together, we go. We finish it out. Yup, we're up in three. Two, and one, let's go and roll, team. You are up, you're on. Yes, love the height, love the stability. Are you breathing? Big exhales, y'all. Six of up. Fabulous, fabulous. Fun to aim for a split stance RDL. We only got four on the right and four on the left. So again, let's tap into that form, let's do them right. Tap into that form, let's do them right. Oh, hey. Hold up. Hey, Eric. Well done, well done. <laughs> oh, looking good, y'all. Shoulder blades together in the back. Four on the right, four on the left. Connect with your breath. Well done. Damn it out. You guys are looking good. Last time we're here today. So let's make it count. Four on the right, four on the left. Nice job. Chad finished up early. He's headed down. All right, let's wrap this thing up. Coming down to our back last exercise in this grouping. Let's earn that rest recovery. We're headed into our inside press, just a skull crusher. We've got a total of eight. Total of eight. All right, let's get that chest popping. Get it going, y'all. Eight total, eight total. Again, elbows, make sure that they're spinning forward and not coming out. Good, shoulder blades should be squeezed together in the back underneath you. All right, so we make sure we're not working throughout our neck at all. Make sure those shoulders are down, lats are engaged. Good, core is nice and strong, feet are flat on the floor. We got a very strong stance here. Again, you're working through eight. Eight total. Oh, Grace in the his house. Hey, girl. See you. Well done. And when we are done there, we'll stand it up, shake it on out, take what you need. Good. Put fives in the house. Burp, burp. All right. Well done, guys. We got three groupings down. We have got one to go. Give someone a little bit of motivation. You can shoot them a little message. High fives all around. You guys have been crushing it. Well done. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Well done, team. All right, heading to our last um, set before our finisher. We got three new motions right here. First exercise, we're gonna work through windmills. All right, two uh, options for this position. I'm gonna show you the difficult version first. Um, right arm is gonna go up and overhead. Left foot is gonna turn out, so toes should be out. Hips are gonna go back. I'm gonna slide down the inside of my leg, keep my eyes on my dumbbell. And use my core to stand back up. So again, hips go back, when he goes back, hands down, or uh, eyes stay on the weight, use that core to get back up. All right, the mobility is not there today, it's just not gonna be happening, no big thing. You're just gonna switch hands. Um, one hand is gonna go up overhead, and then you can put your weight at the bottom, 
let it come down out in front of us, and again, use that core to stand up. So up to you, based on your shoulder mobility, um, your hip mobility, whatever is feeling good. We're going to be taking eight on the right, eight on the left. We'll be showing both um, options in-house, in um, so you will have a modification for you there. Okay, second exercise we're going to work on is a double hand overhead press. Okay, so dumbbell stays in line um, with our shoulders. We're extending those arms up and overhead and back to the center. Okay, up and overhead press, double hand. Um, so strong stability here. Final exercise, we walk it in at weighted sit-ups. You're going to bring that kettlebell or dumbbell, you're going to glue it to the chest. You lay it all the way onto our back. You're going to sit it up, knees to elbows, or back down. Try your absolute best to actually make sure that the weight is glued, okay? So if we're holding it out here and it's not doing too much, um, no, glue it, and we all can. Okay, we'll get it done, team. These are our last three exercises before our finisher. Uh, let's see what we got. Windmills to start, eight on the right, eight on the left. We'll go ahead and check that form, get ourselves up in our right position. So we're either going, uh, let's all start on our right. Right leg out, okay, left hand is up and overhead. Toe, right toe should be out. Let's go back and behind, we'll get things going here together. Good, exit. Use that core to come on up. We've got eight on the right, eight on the left. Good, so shoulders slide all the way down. We're trying to hit what should be a full position from wrist to shoulder, shoulder to wrist. A straight line is what we're looking for. Eight on the right, eight on the left. Good, taking a soft bend in either one of those knees will be helpful. Extending those glutes back and behind to make sure that we get that full hinge position. Eight on the right, eight on the left. Feel free to take either variation. Good, it's a lot of core. You guys are looking strong. It's true. Ooh, yes it is. Fabulous team. Good, let's make sure that that bottom toe our left toe right now is going to be slightly out towards the side. So we're creating that hip opening position for us to be able to utilize our core and stand it straight. Beautiful. Eight and eight, team. Take your time with it. It's a complex movement, so no need to rush. Look at some of them, team. Shake it on out. Take what you need. Woo, yeah. Lots of stability there. You guys crushed it. We're moving into our next exercise. It's just a double hand overhead press. So grab your weight. We're going to stay standing. We're going to make sure we have a strong base here, right? Core should be tight. Hands are going up and overhead. Reps are at 10 when you're ready. 10 when you're ready. Good. Great. All right. We've got a split stance going on here. If you want to go one foot in front of the other, you can rock it out that way. Either way, hips should be uh, We've got that small pelvic tilt, right? So that core is active, right? We're not extending into the lower back. You need to make sure it's wrapped in, core is tight. 10. Fabulous job, team. Yes, looking strong. Well done. We're headed to our last exercise onto our back. We've got our weighted setup. Locked in at 10. Again, please glue that weight to your chest. Try your best to utilize that weight for difficulty, for strength, for power. Whenever y'all are ready, you're locked in at 10. You're locked in at 10. Fabulous team. Look strong. And if that's not happening for us today, ditch the weight, do them right. You know your body best. Let's make sure that we push ourselves accordingly. Let's feel, uh, let's see if you're feeling better than when we popped in on the internet. All right, yeah. Usually it's like before you walked into the space, but no, you're just, you're right there. Y'all are crushing it. 10 of them, get it done. Nice work, squad. All right, team, stand it up, shake it out. We are one step down. We got two to go and a finisher. You guys are so close. Let's take some rest. Recovery, breathe it on out. Let's reassess. All right, we're headed back into our windmills. Locked in at six per side this time. Six per side. Again, let's get our position set. Let's go right toe. It's going to be out towards the, towards, uh, the right. Yeah, right towards the right. Okay, hips go back and behind. Snap it up tight at the top. Again, leaning with those hips. Again, booty is back. Core should be nice and tight. That pelvic tilt is what's going to change it from going from your lower back into that floor. Yes, stay strong. Come on. Good. Soft bend in those 
knees, team. Soften in those knees. Let's protect those lower backs. These are looking good. Six on the right, six on the left. You guys are crushing it. Take your time with it. It's a slow motion. Let's do it right. Beautiful team, yes. We got strong breathing in, in, in here as well. So make sure that on your way up, you're giving that big exhale. We're pushing against gravity. Fabulous. Six on the right, six on the left. Yes. Shake it out. Take what you need. Well done. Beautiful spot. All right, take a second to breathe it out. When you're ready, we're gonna head into our overhead press. Again, strong stance. The boys took a split stance, so maybe they put another foot in front. This set through, either way, we're locking at eight total reps. When you're ready, eight of them. Good, yep, now we're onto our strong uh, face. And again, that pelvic tilt, we're not here, but we're here. Locking in, core is tight. Looking strong, y'all, woo, love it. Love it. Eight. When you're done there, we're coming down to our back. Sit up time. Weighted sit up. Blue, 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 blue it. Eight of up. We've done it once. We can do it again. You've got subtracted two reps. We're down to eight now. So can you bump up your intensity somehow? If your weight came off your chest, can you take no? All right, let me make sure I give it a go for at least two of those where I really try my best to glue it. Right, you know your body best. Let's push ourselves accordingly, guys. We are so close. Eight total. Knock it out. Come on. Looking good. Awesome breathing. Way to get it done, team. We are so close. Fabulous work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Yes, get it done. Woo, good. Scream it out. Shake it out, team. We are headed to our last set here. Let's take some time to reassess. Breathe it out, and we are going for it. Last set of these three exercises. Quick finisher, and you guys are out the door. All right, first one, starting with our windmills. Four on the right, four on the left. When you're ready, let's get this thing rocking. Oh, we're starting on the other side in here. Switching it up. Always, always switching it up. Good. Woo! Yes. Yellow. Yellow. You heard it here first. Hey, hey, hey. Four on the right, four on the left. Hips back and behind, core is tight. Don't use this small rep count to mess up your form, right? We've got to make sure that we're squeezing it, we're doing it correctly. Hips back and behind. Good, big breath. Yes, four and four. Excellent work, team. These are looking great. Well done, well done. We've got overhead press next. Head to our six reps, six reps. Good, oh. different variations. Feel free to take what you need. Good, we got that split stance, uh, wide face, single leg hold, anything that you need to take to bump things up. Again, we've got six total, six total. Well done, team. All right, down to the floor, squad. Let's get those sit-ups in. Hey, no time to rest here. How many sit-ups? Six of them. All right. Yeah. All right, team. Six sit ups. So let's get this thing done. You got a small finisher, and you guys are out the. You're already out the door. <laughs> <laughs> wow! All my, all my little things just don't work. They just don't work. All right, it's cool. Good. Six of them. Either way, let's finish it up strong. Come on. Six total. You've got this. Six strong sit ups. Connect that yeah. breath. That is it. In house. Well done. But five all round. And whoop. All right, guys, straight into our finisher. We'll make the most of your time here. Hop straight to it. We've got two exercises. You're going to go back and forth between the two exercises for a total of 10 reps to start and then subtract by two. So it's going to go 10, 10, 8, 8, 6, 6, 4, 4, 2, 2. Two exercises. Let's talk about it. First one is going to be our plank toe tap, stretching out our hamstrings, activating throughout our shoulders, plank position, reach back for the toe, back to plank. We've got 10 total here, 10 total, booty goes back, 10 of us. You're gonna pick up your weight then, and we're working through lateral lunges just like we practiced in the warm up. You've got five on the right, five on the left, 10 total, y'all can alternate or work through five and five. 
We'll subtract our reps by two, head down to eight, six, towards twos, knock it out, finish it up. All right. You hold weight low on your lunges. Absolutely. If low. you need to hold your weight low for those lateral lunges, we'll show both in house. Um, you guys do what you gotta do. Let's finish this out strong. Plank position to start. Ten toe roll. Plank toe taps. Your pull first in three, two, and one. Let's lock it in. Ten. Total. Make sure that we're following through throughout the plank position, right? Hips go high and back and up. We should feel a nice deep stretch out our hamstrings. It's all purposeful, right? Making our body feel good. Ten total. Head into our lateral lunges. You can either alternate as you go, or we can work through five on the right, five on the left. Feel free to ring your bell or uh, dumbbell. Yeah, dumbbell or kettlebell your bell. Yeah, put it wherever you want it, low, high, you got it. Five and five, team. 10 total. This is a finisher, so we're knocking this thing out. Perfect form here. Both toes should be facing the same direction. Nice job, team. When we're done, we're hopping straight back to it. Let's hit it. Plank toe taps. Eight, we're down to eight. Eight total. Let's get this thing going. Yeah, y'all. Come on. Crushing squad. We go eight total. Eight total. Hips go back and up. We're moving on to our lateral lunges. Four per side. Four per side. Eight total again. You guys are looking good. We got a few guys already hopping into it. Love it. Nice job, Sarah. Looking good on those plank taps. Oh, good. Casey's already into it. Beth is crushing it. Come on, y'all. Jeremy in the house. Dustin and Drew. Marcos. Come on. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Four on the right, four on the left. When we're done, we drop it. Y'all got threes. So six total here. Six total. Six total. Woo! We're working fast in here. We're getting this thing done. Y'all are crushing it. Way to bring the heat. It's a beautiful day outside. Feels good to move that body. Let's get it going. Three on the right, three on the left. Lateral lunges. Loving it. Three on the right, three on the left. We got two more rounds and y'all are done. Two more rounds. Crushing it, team. Head it down to the floor when you're ready. We're working through fours. Four total, it's just two per side. Just two per side. That's what's up. Oh yeah, we're cranking it. Nice job, y'all. I can see y'all working. Let's get that heart rate up. Let's finish this on out as strong as we started. Right, you have a healthy, happy, beautiful body. We're gonna work it to its best potential right here. It's all about that attitude. When you're done, we're dropping it into twos. Two on the right, two on the uh, two total. Yeah, one and one. One, 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 one. Crushing it, y'all. Bring it home. Come on. Yes, and yes. Well done, well done, well done. Hey, hey, hey. Good job, team. Fabulous job today, guys. You crushed it. Well done. Again, you're working on that lower body pull, uh, upper body push, just to even everything out from uh, yesterday's work. Tomorrow, we've got Meta Circuit in the house. Who's going to be teaching? Seth will be teaching. Seth will be teaching. Oh, yeah. Eric and I'll be taking class. I'm not going to tell you what the format is, but it's going to be a fun one. <laughs> so look out. It's going to get competitive in here. Uh, so we'll have a good time. Uh, anything else that we have to add? We have bands. We have bands for all of our members. If you have not picked yours up yet, um, please message us. Contact us some way, somehow. Instagram, email, um, whatever works best for you. Again, we have bands for mini bands for our members. We are going to be using them for Friday's workout. So you need to come get your band. Okay. Um, again, that's members only. For those of you guys who are non-members and we're just uh, enjoying the workout yourselves, thank you for participating. Uh, we do have a Venmo account that uh, we are collecting money for not in-house, but for um, someone in our community that is in, uh, in need. So if you are interested in donating, we are collecting that via Venmo. Our Venmo account is FITC capital Denver with a D, capital D, and yeah. We'll put it on uh, in the link here. So again, feel free to share that with whomever. And let's start to stretch things on out, y'all. Okay, we'll come on down um, to our back. We'll start with uh, hugging our right knee in nice and close to the body. 
Great, on our back. Woo, let's bring it down. Good, and we'll take a two-point twist across the body. Excellent. We'll hug that back in, give it a nice little tuck, and then switch it on out. Other knee comes in close. And we'll take that two-point twist across. About a virtual round of applause for Catherine. Oh! Uh, for yourself. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We'll come all the way up onto all fours. Let's hit a child's pose, please. Get to go back and behind. Just melt our forehead to the floor. Arms out in front of us. We can use a nice side body stretch, especially after those windmills. So arms go out to the side. Shoot your hips back. Melt into it. Right, we'll come back through center, let's hit the other side. Okay, let's come up on all fours, please. We'll take a few cat towels just again, be saying that's fine. You guys are great today. Lots of push out those shoulders, so let's stretch that out. Hands come out in front of us, hips go back and behind. Now we're crazy dogs. Good, we'll walk our hands back towards our toes. Let's hang out here, wider face. We'll take that spinal rotation, so bend into the right knee, send your left arm towards the sky. Shift your weight to your heels to feel this more in your lower back. Good, yeah, it's that great socks. Uh, Devin Murray. Good, release. Thanks, Roll it all the way up to standing. Yeah, let's analyze those fingertips, push them forward, open up. Grab the back of the body, we'll go palms to the sky. Let's make a side body stretch again, getting in front of the oblique side body. Meta circuit tomorrow! Woo back to the side, release, analyze to the back. Let's take one final chest opener. Lots of push from today. We'll release those hands, take a big inhale out, think how proud of yourself you are. Exhale it out, give yourselves a round of applause, you'll crush it! Again, thank you for joining us. Um, please feel free to message us with any questions, comments, concerns. Again, we want to do what you guys want to do. So the more feedback that we can get, the better that we can uh, format this to you. All right, love you all so much. Thanks for coming. We'll see you guys soon.